Gita and Sella, family members, they tell me that they didn't want to use the woman's name because they actually fear retaliation. But I'm told that she's a very kind hearted wife, mother of four and grandmother. She's an amazing lady. To know her is to love her. Everybody that met her and that crossed her path just fell in love with her. Holding back tears, Lynette Batiste explains what her cousin is like. On Lundi Gras Day, the wife and mother of four was shot in the head along I-10 near the Crowder exit. Right now, it is a trying time, but we're trusting and believing in God that he'll see us through this time. Family says the mom was traveling into New Orleans with friends from Seidel when their white Nissan was struck by a black Dodge. NOPD says the driver of the Dodge, who was working for Uber, and his passenger had already been shot, causing the crash. After both cars came to a stop, investigators say the gunman ran along the interstate firing more shots. The mother was struck by one of the bullets. Police believe the passenger in the Uber was the intended target. You get a phone call that your loved one was in a car accident, and that's the call that was received by the family. And then when you get to the actual hospital, you receive other news that she was struck in the head by a bullet. Thursday, they're planning a benefit dinner inside Dell at Blanc and Brick in Old Town, selling food plates in hopes of raising money for the mom's medical expenses. In the end, they hope justice is served. I just hope and pray that um, New Orleans would get a better grip with the crime and um, take back their streets because it's a beautiful place to visit. And when you get to the point where you fear for your life, it's, it's bad. Now, police did arrest 33-year-old Tyree Quinn for the shooting, but I'm told that they're looking for other suspects. With that being said, if you do know anything at all about the shooting that happened on Lundi Gras, you're being urged to contact Crime Stoppers at 822-1111. Reporting live from Mid-City NOPD headquarters, Shay O'Connor, WDSU News. All right, Shay, thank you so much. WDSU has done extensive coverage on this story. You can visit WDSU.com to read more about it and also for details on the benefit dinner that Shay just mentioned.